Hey guys, welcome back to Railroader. We are a few hours on in the day. Now, normally by this point, we go on to the next day, but I made a mistake last time. I press tab. Yes, everything now wants to go to Sylvia. This is now not a working interchange. I didn't know that would happen. I should have thought about it though, shouldn't I? What's going to need to happen is we're going to have to move everything up to the uh, end there. So that's going to be today's episode then. So I'm recording this a week later. Um, last week they were doing updates whilst we were recording, which you, you probably saw the a few issues on uh, last week's episode, such as... Uh... So basically on Wednesday, on every delivery I made, it said I had actually damaged the uh, one of the cars. Which obviously I hadn't. We're overall 106, safety 86. That's going to go down. Now, one of the other issues was, if I click on here, this set of buttons wasn't working. Now, a lot of you don't have this set of buttons. Now, for you, this is a bit late, but for me, it's only a couple of days later after we actually um, were chatting about it. These are some of the mods. These are the rail loader mods, which I'm using. Couple of crossovers for your convenience. Uh, strange customs. Now most of them uh, require strange customs, and some of them require um, your convenience. For instance, your convenience mod is if I press tab, you'll get uh, the stuff like this, the extra stuff which isn't on there. You know, the miles per hour, if it's empty or not. What I was, I was asked about was the actual buttons, though. Now. I'd forgotten I'd actually installed this one. RMROC451S. Now I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. This gives, gives you the buttons here. These buttons set, connect, and this. Now in last episode they weren't working. That's because the update is actually happening whilst I was actually uh, recording. But it is all working now. Yeah, you can go into there. Might still make it. So to give you an example, connect air. See, there you go. This will connect air and everything. You can set the brake and it should, in theory, set the brake on everything. So if we click on this one, it's it's now applied. So if I press release on this one, this one's now released also. So that's what that does. Yeah, we're going to have to water it. There's nothing up there at the moment. Now we're obviously blocking it, but uh, hey ho. We'll pull this one out a little bit. It's good, can't see anything. No good. Now both these tracks are blocked. We can't go around the front from that side because it's, it's wagons there. So, yeah, we're done. I thought it would be. Let's shut that. We'll go down onto this track and then round. This is going to be good for me because I don't know how long, real time, how long it's going to take to get the other end. 
because I'm going to have to think about that on a per episode basis. Because uh, my three episodes per week, which was per day, was based on the amount of recording for a certain amount of time. And uh, see, now that's going to be different. I quite like the actual, the, there are real world considerations I have for this. It's not just in-game considerations. I was quite like finding some cool angles to take some screenshots from. It was quite fun. Oh, maybe something like this. Well, it probably won't be used, will it? A screenshot, one of these screenshots, because we'd be up at Sylvia. So I would think that that is going to be our screenshot. Okay, select, follow, reverse. So, is it MU? I can't remember if it's cut out. Where well, is steaming now? And so it seems to be doing something. Well, I'll get to the front. I do want to look where the Atlantic is. The East, was it 601, wasn't it? So we need to pull one in front, reverse it back, and then we'll, we'll take the coal first. Okay, so it's aimed, it's aimed correctly. Go number two. See if the game crashes this time. All right, click on there. Click connect. I think everything's all released. Again, we click on there, click connect. 
Well, I found our 601. It is at Whittier. No, it's Ela. Now the problem we've got. Actually, I could could send it out there. That would that would do it, wouldn't it? It's gonna whinge in a second. Are you gonna go? Oh, you're gonna start going. You are, but it's gonna whinge at the at the this one going this way. It won't like it. Right, I reckon we should probably uh, get going. I've never been up here before. I had a quick look on the map yesterday. Just to make sure the points were going the right way, but I've not driven up here. Save, I think. All right, I saved, so you have to do that bit again if it crashes again. The game did go through. I'm playing on Linux. Um, Nibara OS. It's just updated yesterday. We did go through a stage when we were playing on Wayland that we did have that. We did have a few crashes, but I changed to X11. We never had any more. But the problem is, we are on X11 right now. But it could be something to do with the upgrade. Difficult to know. We're still in here, Hoy. What's it look like? Looks like that. I love it. Bit fun, isn't it? All right, let's take that bit. I think I'll do that. I might just play the cameras. Don't even need that on, do I? Keep it on 30. Don't make my computer unhappy. Right, it's 12.29 real time. Not game time. I'm, I just want to work how long this is going to take. So I'll bring this up for a second. Out the map. Doesn't feel that long now we've got that. Left it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. So, milestones, Dilver engine shed. 3 7. We've got 6 7. So, I think we should get that tomorrow. That'd be delivered with some more stuff now. I 
Okay, so that's our first station. Right, we are just past the station again. I've changed it from X11 to Wayland, see if that makes any difference. Change the Proton version, change a couple of settings. Let's see how long it takes before we crash again. Oh, that is going to be one of those days. There's so many rocks in there, you can have a steamboat going up and down. Something Creek we're just coming into. Oh, it's double tracked again. How close are we? It doesn't feel that far, it's just that it's, we keep crashing. <laughs> I've not seen a car on here before. Huh. Is that a good screenshot? Yeah, working. That's fun, like that. Little bridge, yeah. So this is where we're going to have the water tower around here. Crash. Oh, back again. Got to be careful so it doesn't crash. Hmm. Don't know what to do. Um, I think after this episode, I'll, I'll continue this episode recording Linux. I'll just swap over to Windows and record them the rest of the day, which will be the next following week for you guys. 
on Windows. And then I will have a look to try and fix it again. So we should come out to this station. Oh, it's quite a bit here. So when we bought this, did it just give us this then? Oh, it did, didn't it? Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Now we're going to be staging some uh, locos now. trust this anymore. It's got a big station here as well. And a water tower there. So once we get round, well, we'll get through the station, I'm going to take manual control then. So real time is half an hour later when we start this. So, maybe 20 minutes in reality. Okay, so then we are going to manually take control now. We go around the corner, I know there's some mill or something here. But we need to get the locos to the back. Now, my only thought is that we don't have enough space. I know there's a runaround area. I am contemplating getting a mod for it. I've already found one which will open up a couple more tracks, make some more crossovers down this end. Yeah, this is it. We'll go this side, because I think there's a bit more space here. Now remembering that we have to go from here. The junction's there.
We could sling a couple of them in front. That might be the option. I move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I did think this was going to happen. Let's go and have a look at the. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Okay, we could do it from here. Now, it depends whether we can fit down two. If we can go for a bit them down two, we'll be fine. We do the coal first, and we'll take the other half after that. Didn't wish to do that then. I follow this one. Wrong one. Not quite the journey up here I thought it was going to be. It took around the same sort of time, but so I think it, you know, what I thought it was going to be, but. The game issues. They are slightly annoying. I don't think it has much to do with the game, though. I think it's more likely that the computer itself is updated. Luckily, I'm dual booting with Windows. So I can go back to Windows. Just the settings can be wrong. I've honed the settings now to... Essentially, it's just like playing it on a different system when you do that. I certainly should have put more thought in whether I should have opened this up or not. It does certainly make sense, the interchange between us and another company. And obviously once uh, once we open that up then it wasn't the case, was it? Now, 
Now we need to get these to the other end. Right now, I have no idea I'm going to deal with the next day. It looks fun when you have that many on there. Yeah, I'm happy. We will leave it there. All ready for the next day. What is um 100% 100% still? So I'm only just put. Oh no, got enough coal. You've got enough coal. Oh. Shall we buy a, a hopper we need? 1,000. I think, oh, capacity is 82, capacity is 50. Uh, easy. Okay, so that'll come tomorrow. Then we'll set it up to actually uh, be down here. We do need repair parts, but uh, I don't think we've enough cash to do that. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Um, we're set for the next day. Everything's in the right place. And we shall continue. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. If you see more, please subscribe and press that ding-dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye-bye.